myself. So Akin Akin versus Web Booby Cop. What is going on with these names? All right. I'm not surprised. I just are I just you, assume. Are you not? Are you not? I'm not. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not surprised at all. You see, all right. the one thing, wonderful thing about. Um... All right. Here we go. Do that match. Okay, okay. I'm not surprised by anything. You see, whenever you see like an anime Discord, I'm just expecting the goofiest nonsense humanly Goofy possible. Nonsense? You know what? That's fine. All right. Ah, okay. uh, yes, we have we have Arm himself. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't know, man. Is that a land? You see Nero jump C, and you're just like, man, that's a powerful limit right there. Yep, yep. Oh, there you go. You got you got the chat saying that Aiken was practicing this matchup in specific. We got to see how it goes for it. Down, down, down. All right, here we go. It is finally time. Okay. Some pressure. You got him in the corner now. And just to get out. Oop. Tries to go for cat. The power of cat. Arm. Arm. I like it. Damn. Damn. All Look right. at all those beaties. <laughs> yeah, white, white. Len is just trying to get in wherever possible. That real small, nice response, but... I guess one thing also that we're noticing specifically is that, like, Len's having a hard time dealing with just Nero's large normal. Just setting, just setting up the Doritos doesn't seem to be doing that much. Yeah. And Nero's just controlling the whole screen with every button. Probably that's one of the reasons that he chose this matchup is because Len can't contest with, like, these, oh, oh dear god, they clear that <laughs> <in> that <laughs> Okay. Get it in there. Arm. Oh. ADX shield, all right. Max mode is out. Set up the Doritos. Can you Setting up the Doritos. <laughs> I don't need to. Chillin'. Yeah, like... But Lin has to kind of engage Nero. This is kind of a scary situation. Especially, like, look at those powerful buttons. Band gets hit by arm. Arm. Proceed to the okay. Yep, there you go. It's coming down. Yep, got Ooh. clipped. That's death. All right, first round goes. Yeah. Well, nice clearly, I guess this is this is the power of arm. You just have so all the neutral arm, bionic arm, everybody. Man, I don't know if it's as powerful as that, but I don't know. Arm is pretty good, pretty good air <laughs> It's pretty good in general. Yep. I mean, that's the thing about this matchup. Like, you can tell that Len wants to put down the traps, but uh, you might have noticed that summons don't really care about that stuff. Yeah, Simmons just kind of like appear and they kind of put them in this awkward situation where they, she has to respect okay, Nero from okay. full screen. Yeah, Nero, yeah. Nero in the corner now. What's going on? Look at these yeah, shields. Okay, nope, got through. At least for a minute. Doesn't a get anything hits. though. Yeah, nothing. Nice. And that's another thing. That's like one thing that Lin does have in the air normal department is like that giant jump scene normal. But it's, it does not compare to arm. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh it's no. Here, but the cost. There you go. Gets oh my god. Goes for the. Gets hit. <laughs> Set up Dorito. Gets hit by the 5C. <laughs> okay. I think also one thing that's noticeable in this matchup that we're noticing really a lot is that despite Lin's small size, which can make some conversions kind of tricky for some characters, Nero's big air normals means that he can basically get a confirm from normals anywhere on screen. 
and just can kind of prevent uh, Lin from like going into the sky as easily just because he has such a bigger air superiority to her. Yeah, those traps aren't going to do a whole lot for you. There you go, that's clean 2-0. Wow, that was... That was it. Good games to both... Good, good games to both competitors, though. I think that's that really does just yeah. It was really nice, though. Demonstrate really, really like interesting matchup to watch. Uh, two oh four. Okay. Ooh, cap. Tasty Core is up. Yeah, that was a minute ago. So let's go see their match. Sure, let's run it. But oh, yeah, but oh, yeah, it seems like that was a good counter pick, at least. It was. Because we really did get to see, like, I think that was really interesting, though. Like, really interesting, like, matchup wise. Because okay, it looks like Lynn is. The, the host. Oh, they're changing the room? They're changing the room? Okay. Okay, yeah. Chester is going to be reposting it. So it's Chester to Tasty Core. Okay, okay. Let's try it. Okay, one second. But yeah. Because, like, one thing that, like, Lynn's, like, really renowned for, at least I think, that she's known for is she has actually really good buttons for her small size while also evading everything with Cat. And then you have Nero, who's just like there with his giant arm and his huge presence with the traps that helped him control that situation. So it was really hard for Lynn to like really navigate it because she couldn't approach from the air because if he went air to air, she would lose. And the, the traps meant that she had to engage in some way safely, which was really difficult to do. That's true. I mean, it's crazy, right? Because he's got a big hitbox, but he also has giant... You know, he's got a big hurtbox, rather, but he's got giant hitboxes. So arm! Him like that. Arm! The classic. Arm! Big classic. Alright, let me see if these guys are in a match now. Okay, let's try. Yeah, they are. Let's but, go. Okay, they're going up? Okay. It doesn't work. You can try our other IP. Let's see. It looks like they are... It seems like it's okay on my end, because, let's see. Yeah, I see him. Okay. Akina. Well, Akina versus Nanaya. So this is going to be interesting, because, like, if I understand correctly, like, how Nanaya is supposed to approach kind of this matchup. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Got corner pressure. Alright, I'm just, I'm just catching him. Pressure. Ooh, nice. Gets out of the pressure. Puts him in. Nice. And now we go to, we go into the vortex. I like this. All right, this Look is at that. Game. That classic anime this is... corner game. Let's go. Ooh, burst. Don't yep, this it. is where Shiki excels at. Honestly, I feel like both characters just really enjoy the corner and running their game plan. I guess it matters then who has the better neutral between them. That's true. Go for Pillar. You gotta love Pillar. Pillar is just like a horrible feeling to get hit by. And you're just like, dang. Dang. I really got hit by that button. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, nice. those, those hit, hit, hit are a little weird. Okay. Get that corner combo nice. in. Get the air throw, what's the mix? Yep. Gets the plus frame. Look at that stagger. Yep. Lock that. Shield that. Okay. Goes for heat. I like one thing I really do enjoy, at least in this is like both of them are like have really good air mobility and we're seeing how they have to kinda of like maneuver around each other's projectiles, but okay. Nanya has to be extra careful because of pillar. The damage. Combo's on point. What's the set? Okay, DP Ooh, out. DPs. But he didn't get gets hit, man. Right? The damage. Look at that beautiful 4k. Has the color set up. Nice. We block it this house. Let's go. He's gonna have to gonna block at some point because the guard gauge is going down. Yep. That's the scary part. Nice. Okay, yep, get out. First. No DP. That was actually oh, okay. an incredibly good. That was a, such a good. Um, I forget what the mechanic was called, but like that was a really good like call out just to keep him in the corner to keep up the pressure and maintain the maintain the pressure for the round kill. That was really really nice on. Uh... I just really have no idea who we're playing with. Yeah, two tasty, players. Are. Tasty core on the left and Chester on the right. 
Okay, yeah, Tasty Cores. Yeah, Tasty Cores. Yeah, I like smart. Tasty Cores awareness to like apply the pressure when needed and like steal the momentum in that round. That's actually really, really smart and really well done from him. Big thank you for the resub. Eight months. Go for the strip. Oh, look at those staggers. Nice. Ooh, punish. Don't even deal like it. Them. Just punish it. Put all the damage in there. All right. Oh my god. Cash it. What's the next? damage. Throw. The damage was real. Block. Punish. Another Easy. One? Oh no. There you go, Chester. Wow. Chester. Methodical. Chester finally got on the board. He ain't messing around. Methodical stuff in that round. There was a lot. A it lot of good stuff. could not be helped. As they say. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Oh my. Oh my. Oh no. Here we go. That was Thank a sick a combo. Ride. Pillars, nice okay. extension. Doesn't Drops get the top out of okay. Man, I think one thing you can really what I really like about Shiki in this matchup is his backdash is super good. He was able to completely disengage from Akiha when she wanted to from the mid screen and wait for his opportunity. Unfortunately, he got hit from Akiha. But I think that's something that's really valuable in this matchup is just having that good ground mobility to avoid right. pillars in the air. It is one to one. Don't break your wrist, y'all. Don't break your wrist, Squid. You gotta, you gotta win. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Good job on the heat. Mashing on that heat. Playing that really respectful game around pillar. Yeah. Trying to make certain that he doesn't get clipped. I think we're looking a lot on how Tasty Core is controlling the neutral space, but I really like how um, oh, Chester boy. is just. I really like how Chester is playing like super compact and safe. Oh, gets hit. This oh, yeah, is so scary. Oh, yeah, oh, oh no. The unfortunate thing. That nice chunky, Chester, chunky OTG damage. That is going to be a 2 0 for Tasty Core. Excellent. Yep, 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 yep. Excellently done. Excellently done. Uh, and with that. Good. Should be. Chester was playing super. I actually really liked how Chester played, like super compact, really well. Tasty Core, Core really took advantage of like the pillars and how to like create the space around it. And Chester tried really hard to like navigate around that. I really like how dynamically they try to move around and play kind of like the footsie game with the different um, with the different tools that those characters have in it. And I think like Chester was really playing well, like trying to go across. Going across pillar, making sure pillar, he doesn't jump into pillar while abusing his really strong backdash. I thought that was actually really, really well done. So All this right, play. next up is going to be Lem versus Squid Pope. That's what I got here. Just dropped okay. there. Okay. All right, peace. Let's get in there. And uh, Lem, I'm not going to say I know him for anything melty. I know he's great at Fight of Animals. I know he's great at Kianta. He's amazing at Kianta. So... <laughs> He's amazing at side of animals. Amazing. He's amazing at both of those games. This man is a god. All right. Just being reminded, you need to actually play Fight of Animals at some point. Hey y'all, play Fight of Animals. Ten bucks. Um, we're gonna be doing. It has like, rollback netcode. It has confirmed. rollback. It does have rollback. It has really good rollback. It's got rollback as good as Melty. I'm not even making that up. Um, so I like we have the arm squad here. The arms got rolling out here. I guess one thing also that I like, I think Nero really applies to for like, despite his big normals, is he's really good at just like being kind of an easy character to set up against bad matchups other characters might have. Oh, we got Michael. Alright. Roa. Roa. Alright. So Lem on the left side, Squid on the this right. This is a full Question. moon Roa, isn't it? Yes. It? Question mark. Yeah, this is full moon row. Okay, so this is not the. This is, if I remember correctly, this is actually a bad matchup for Nero. Okay. Let's see, let's see how it works. Yeah, let's see. Yep. Nice. Look, row. Oh my. Nice. Avoid the crow. Nice. Oh no. Now you're in it. Now you're in it. 
got to just confirm in that combo. I don't see any confirms. Oh, oh. Oh my god. A little late for that now. Now you got hit. Now you got to hold Oh my. This. Yep. Oh my. Wow. Man, we just hitting people with meaties today? Oh. We're just hitting people today. Guys, guys, we have meaties confirmed. Meaties are too powerful for some pure mortals to handle. We're just in there. Oh my. Oh my. There's a lot of hits going on. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. That, that, you know, a little bit of damage, a little bit. Perked. Ow, perfect round. Hello? Yeah. I, he literally was never able to press <laughs> arm and win the neutral. Oh, we got so a character switch. he died. Do I see a character switch? What's going on? Where you at, Squid? You're probably just trying to take a breather. You, you know, when you when yeah, you get yeah, too yeah, old, you you're just you're just thinking <laughs> to yourself, man, how do I can I, I just need to calm down and think about the situation again before I go into the match. Because you know, the worst thing yeah, you can yeah, do yeah. whenever you go into a match and you yeah, lose like know. that is get tilted. Because you're like, oh, I knew. You just want to take a breather and wait it out. See, like that. See, already a great start. All right, good start, good round. Let's go. Let's make it a good round. Good teleport yeah. out. Hit him See? with the button. No confirm. Oh, plus he's in the plus frame. It's okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, the corner. This is his domain. Wow. Okay. Well, corpse up. Dead. Oh no. Lem needs one more. Yep. Go for it. Yeah. Oh no. Nice, get the hit. Come on, you got this arm? No. No arm. Almost arm. Nice daggers. Oh no. Dangerous. Wow, okay. Crush it. Yep. Okay, yeah, there you go. Nice. Get got a combo, you gotta arm. get in there. Use the power bar. Yep. Uh, uh, too late. Yeah, okay, left goes to zero. He got the gonna confirm from arm. I'm not gonna say I, you know, I respect it. That's how it is. It's good. We all we got we got those. We got good those. attempt. Good, yeah, good, good, good rounds, good rounds, good games. GGs. Um, that's gonna be a two zero for the one. Who do we got next? Top eight has its first two uh, competitors. Thought you would last outlast, you know? <laughs> it happens sometimes. Sometimes it could just be overwhelming. Like one of the things about Melty, like we especially saw in that run, was that it's a very fast and very dynamic game. And it's really hard if you're not like hundred percent confident in your decisions in any moment, you kinda get steamrolled very quickly. Yeah. Is like you may have like the best neutral buttons of any character. But if you don't know if you don't know your options at a given point, or you're not too slow, you're just going to get overwhelmed by other characters who may even have smaller buttons. As we see, we've seen a very, pretty pretty wide range of that. But uh, let's see, who do we have next? Um, Akin. Yeah, says, it looks like uh, Akin, Akin and Squid are going down, added down in low in lower bracket. Let's follow that storyline, then, shall we? All right, I'll click in. Try. Next up is going to be uh, Akin versus Squidbo. It's going to be a losers match, actually. Losers round one. Yep. While we see things. So Len. Up. So again, we get we get another Nero with Len. Yo. Alright, I 
want to see this land. I want to see this land. Oh my. Big button. Big button, big the button. Big button. Oh, that's a nice interesting OTG. I did not know that. Arm? Damn it, no arm. So setting up the do. Setting up the up aerial to do Man, that's 5C. I think nothing that's. So what do you think? What do you think specifically about, like. Um, have you ever played against Lemon this game? Like anything, any comments like specifically about how you think he's going to try approaching this? Or just um, like, just kind of do Nero things and win? You know, I think that honestly, I, I mean, the way it's being played is you see just like Nero things being Nero things. Uh, <laughs> whip a normal, then punish it unsafe. Yeah, that's what Chad kind of has the right of it. But, um, you know, true. this... N Nero can kind of ignore a lot of blend shenanigans in ways that a lot of other characters may not be able to. So, I mean, Nero I think... does have the button. Yeah, exactly. He has the button. He, he has, doesn't... he has, he has the shenanigans. Like, well, if he throws out Crow projectile and hit smack, then that, you know, nothing can do. <laughs> nothing can be done about that. But I do think, if played correctly, this character has certain ways around, like the general yeah, he gameplay. Does. And all that. Yep. I mean, however, this is some zoning. This zoning. is some real. This is some real zoning. This is a very legitimate zoning. That is a round around. We got zone. Getting zone, boys. In Melty. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hate on that. Nope. Yeah, that, that's true, Chad. You really should be setting up animal summons. I'm not really sure what's going. Snake. He's probably more comfortable with the projectiles. That's why he keeps going for pro. Cause it's very. To me, it seems like he's just not comfortable with the ranges to use the other animal sets. And he's more comfortable just having a projectile. Like, see, so he, he likes crow a lot because it gives him like that real projectile. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Smacking each other back to neutral. All right. Okay, yeah, you're in there. Let's go. Don't just grab. Yeah, for grab. The, yeah, go for, for the, the throw. Fun. Yeah, that was nice. You can, you can throw right here. Nice oh, what? Okay, Lem has a setup now. Yep. All you gotta do is hit him. All you gotta do is hit him. There you go. There Even we go. Trade. Even the man trade. Hit him. There you go, Squid. You got the Squid. There you go, Squid. One to zero. Bring it back. Take it home. He'll be taking it out here. Doritos. I love, Dor I love fighting game characters who have Doritos. Not because I use Dorito characters, but because it's so funny. You don't use. Not because I don't use, I use them. The like I don't characters. do like I don't do Dorito loops in Power Rangers, but I sure like it when people call it Dorito loops. I mean, Dorito loop. Doritos is pretty powerful. I like I like any I like anything where it's called Doritos. Not not specifically because I like the chip. I just think the name is really funny. It's pretty. Funny. It's one of those like lingo things that's really funny. It's definitely oh, funny. Andy Air got him in the corner. Yeah. All right. Just a cat. Yeah, like it's. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's go. Let's go, cat. We're getting here. Jab pressure. Oh! Oh! Nice. Okay. Deer out. Deer is here. Oh, nice. Good combo. Oh, no, no jump cancel. Deer has decided that it's making everyone else's problem that they're alive today. Let's go. I think one thing that. Oh. Um... Okay, good block. Wait, see, Squid versus. I need to look at the name again. Yeah, Squid on the left, Aiken on the right. Aiken on the right. I think Aiken oh. is not comfortable with air confirm. Oh, does matter. Yeah, that's true. true. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of grounded play. Fair assessment to make. 
Nope, it does not get to confirm into the uh, charge 6C. Oh, Never mind, doesn't matter. Oh, it just, just walks in there. Just, just going in, just, just stand in there. Yo, I'm Nero. I have the button. Let me control the neutral. Gain that meter? That juicy meter? <laughs> what do you get off teleport? teleport? Yeah. What do you want to do? The also teleport? powerful teleport. Oh. Oh my god. Punishing him. <laughs> it's 5A. Uh, I like how Squid's getting more used to the summons. Like, he, he's just progressively saying, Okay, you want to sit behind you? Let me just get out deer. Let me just set up my deer. Yeah, it's, it's starting to work. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. I mean, you see the power of deer there. It's like, okay, you're gonna sit there. And now he just sits some deer. Yeah, but deer's laying in the back now, so he's gonna... Yep. Uh, honestly, it's kind of okay, though, because he has the damage, health, life, health lead still. Ah, oh, that would've been a sick confirm. It was just a little bit off. Arm! Arm! Yep, does not reach that far, my guy. Doesn't work. It's okay, he got the arm. The power of arm. Actually, one thing I've noticed that Squid isn't taking advantage of is he's not using his jump cancel from his jump C as much for the confirm into the ground throw for Oki. Okay. Honestly, this is a very good position. He could just probably set deer yeah, you can and just kind of walk forward. You can throw crow here. Yeah, okay, not, not anymore. Go down. Oh, yo, okay. Oh, that was smart. That was smart. That was smart. <laughs> He had to absorb the projectile you know, and just call it time. I'm just gonna mash on that shield button and see what happens. That's a 2 0 for Squid. I think he just reacted. Like, he knew I if he just stalled for time. It. So, if he just. If he was in the block stun of, you know, the. I, I think he realized that if he just parried the projectile, he could just stall and there's nothing um, Akin could do to set up the situation to come back. So, I think he just did a very safe option of just being like, yeah, I'm gonna parry this projectile. It should be fine. This fan is oh, boy. Nice stuff, yeah. Alright. Skeleton is up next. Yeah, we're gonna try to get a get a hold of the skeleton. Oh, it doesn't look like Chris Bart has Chris Bardo played against Okay, Chris hasn't played against Flunk Classic. Okay, I gotta reset that matchup. But yeah. Who is next? Um Chris see. Bardo. So we got. Okay, Chris Bardo hasn't played Flunk yet. I hope they do. I hope they're they're here to play. Let's go. I mean, I'm not. I'm all about the havoc. Let's let's get in there. <laughs> um let's see i'm not sure i wonder where skeleton is is he in the uh melty discord yeah that seems like it's okay 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 because i was like wondering like, where are you let me pull him up 
might have to get him. Yep, yep, yep. I don't have Flunktastic in the main Melty Discord, so I'm gonna DQ them. So I do not see them anymore. Yeah. Bas basically, if you don't show up in the first 15 minutes, I am not gonna try very hard to get you. Makes sense. But he was here, the thing. Flunk? Like, he literally played. played... I don't think. Oh, Zonk? Fl Flunk oh, in Flunk? particular did not play, so that. Okay, sorry. I thought they were just skeleton. Seated. Yeah, skeleton in particular, I don't see them. I don't. Did they? Yeah, they, they did not play. No, because they're seated in round two. So that's not a thing. Yeah. Okay, and Flunktastic is going to be whoo, taken out because I do not know where they are. Well, it, this be happening sometimes, you know? It does happen. It happens. It happens, you know. It's the nature of net play. You got you to gotta keep rolling. Makes sense. And let's see. We do have a top eight matchup already confirmed. I do need to find Skeleton. Okay, Yuzuke versus Chester is going to be playing, so let's pull that up on the screen. Yuzuke versus Chester, I am excited. Let's see here. Go for it. I'm about to go. So yeah, Chester we just saw. Not in a game, cannot spectate. Okay. Yeah, not yet, not yet. I guess. Okay, okay. But we're going to have... Uh, Nanaya, and then I don't know who Yuzuke plays. I don't know who, yeah? I don't know who Yuzuke plays either. That's gonna be that's gonna be something to watch. Yep. No, he <laughs> just just says they're not in yet. Yep, feels like it. Yeah, I can tell. I might have noticed. Oh, apparently there's an issue. Like, apparently they, they keep yeah, getting disconnected. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's Chester's, uh, Chester's IP is not. So. Fireball is, yeah. Firewall is maybe not taking. Okay. You know, it happens, no, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's, that's very weird. I've heard of it. Yeah. At least the nice thing about it is that you know you can just use the other person's IP, so it's not it's not that bad. Um, yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. Just you know, switch it up. Wait, that is a very strange issue. Very unique problem. Well, you'd be surprised. I mean, Melty's uh, you do like tunnel punching, like to get around the need for ports is surprisingly good, surprisingly effective. Yeah, compared to some of the other stuff. No, it, it's good. It's just it's just a very interesting issue. I've not encountered that yet. But then again, I mostly just kind of play with locals. I haven't tried other people's. It looks like it's timing out. I am also getting timed up. Okay, I'll try Yuzuke's IP. Chat says that Skeleton is fighting someone in the Melty Cord in the NSFW chat. Wonderful. <laughs> well, you know, well, at least we know they're playing he's Melty. He's in the dojo. He's in the dojo right now. Hey, man. Hey, man. If, he, if he's I respect practicing, it. he's practicing. If that's where you got to practice, that's where you got to practice. I don't judge. I ain't going to judge either. Yeah, I'm having issues going getting front to Chester's and Yuzuke's. Are you having the same issues? Yeah, it says they're not in the game yet, so let's just see what Chester says. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought they were in the game, so that, that would just probably be my entire fault then. Not in the game yet. Very strange. 
<laughs> Not safe for work channel, no less. Funny. <laughs> uh, of course, they would be degenerate enough to go into the uh, been playing not for safe about for 20 minutes, so skeleton should be done. All right, we'll we'll give them the benefit of. That. Okay. This is tough. We got a loser's match that is not able to connect. That is unfortunate. Yes, like they're going right, yeah, to reset the router. All right, all right. They're doing resets. Um, stream, we could probably find someone else live. to play. Yeah. The I'd stream will live. Play. The stream will. The stream will move on. Without. Is there any match we can maybe like fill in the time for while we wait for the reset? Uh, we would have to go right into the top eight, but you know, it's it's not too far off. So let's just go ahead and pull them in. Uh, looks like next up is Wet I'm... Web. What What do you think? What are we, what are we thinking? I think I got... it's fine if we yeah, do it. We can. I'm we can just move along. Let's, let's not keep the people waiting. Uh, we got Web Booby Cop versus Chris Bardo. Uh, Chris Bardo did not get to play. Yeah, he did. He two would and Web Booby. Both of these players have gone. Well, Chris has gone two o once, and then Booby Cop has gone two o twice. So that's going to be potentially strong. Yep, we'll see. This is a winner's sentence match, actually. Okay. Let's give a watch. All right. Yeah, they're watching the stream and everything. They know. All right. It's cool. We all have technical issues. Yeah, you know the thing. The, yeah, it's cool. You know what the thing is, right? Like the the thing about net play attorneys, right? That you got to worry about is like not the fact there's gonna be tech issues, right? That we can't solve, but you just gotta handle them gracefully, right? With the great, you gotta the smuggle. you gotta just keep it rolling. You gotta be willing to say, all right, somebody's gonna have to reset that router. We're gonna have to go move somewhere else, and that's it, right? You just with Keep the going. greatest of ease, we move through the racket. Exactly. Like silky butter. There you go. It's really that easy. You just you just chill. All right. So booby cop on the left, uh, and Chris Bardo on the right is what I got. Yeah. That's the philosophy, right? That's the nothing but net play philosophy. You just keep going. There's gonna be some problems. Just keep going. Fuck it. You. Just parry the tech issue. Just exactly. parry the See? tech. Is that an arc white? Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow! We got we got we got characters select footsies going on. All right, CL. We got yeah. FCL. Got see right spy. Arc ride. Of course. Oh, CL. Okay, okay. CL and chaos. Okay. I think this would actually be kind of interesting because Seal has like really good, like strong, like grounded projectiles that they, she can use to help kind of contest the overpowering nature of Nero. But I actually don't know kind of like the nuances of the matchup and how they were kind of play out because of summons and how Celia would interact with Nero in the air. Yeah. Well I would assume this would be somewhat even to an extent, but I also don't know a whole lot about the individualities between CL's moves. Count of three arms. Nice. Staggers? Ooh, got those staggers. Nice. Keep them in the corner. Oh, look at that. Alright, now you're in the other corner. That is Oh. Yeah, like... Charles Bartle just going in. Oh, that was a sick. That was a nice adjustment. I like it. Is this a perfect round? No. Oh, no, it's not anymore. No, no. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Get clipped. Especially with that. Yeah. And now, oh, no. That was dirty. That was actually kind of dirty. <laughs> Did you get hit, chat? I don't think it matters if you got hit. I think it's more a matter of how do you actually, like, play around the situation because I think Bardo's just using the air movement of Nero with his normal so efficiently. Like look at this 
look at these staggers in these situations that he's just putting uh, putting our fellow CL hero in. It's really rough. Oh my god. Okay. Arm. You got the arm. Okay, good DP out of Nice. What can Get you do after impression. there? You, you buy yourself a little bit of time. Yep. Yeah, shield <laughs> the snake heart. <laughs> nice, good hit. Alright, well, we got a combo. What's the setup? Nice. Ah, uh, he has he has the meeting. He's, He's able advantage. to set up it. Nice. Okay. Smart. Yep. Setting up the summon. Nice! The play. Nice, because for the confirm, look at that. Alright, alright, alright. Don't go get smacked that. by arm in the air. You're golden. Let's go, Chris. Yep, yep, yep. Very hard. Ow! Oh, got smacked. That, close. <laughs> that got was a very good display. Half though. mentioned Is smack. To... Yeah, but it was really good. It was a really, good, really good attempt. Setting up the O key, trying to like dance around Nero's like long uh, mid range. Like, yep. Almost got it. Yep. Pressure. Arm. Arm. Get the staggers ready. Cover in his face. Trade. I'll take yep. nothing. Yeah, looks, I mean, CL wants to not get Nero get away, or else he's gonna be, or else they're gonna be forced to play the game of Nero, and that's a bad problem. Oh, I'll let him get run that out of the corner. Go for the throw. Nice tech. Oh, goes for throw, but doesn't get, but not getting conversion from Nero cost in that. And he's retreating. He has a health lead. Oof. That was so dangerous. Barrier, but oh, that's death. Oh, that's death. Very dominant. Yep. I think what's interesting, specifically here, is how Bardo is just applying the stagger pressure using the different summons to force like these like really hard to like mash out of situations. And then from those situations is just able to put up so many efficient staggers that Charles Bardo is just not able to beat or effectively nice. like beat out against. And then he just, you know, gets hit by the like 4k to 5k damaging <laughs> roots. You know, ca casual 4k root. Alright, that is a 2-0 for Booty Cow. Yep, yep. Very the casual, the most casual of 4 4k roots. Most casual. Which is just a lot of arm. <laughs> a lot of arm. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. that. All right, Nick. Now we got a match that we've been waiting on: Skeleton versus Tasty Core. We got okay, uh, skeletons up. Let's go. Interesting. I've heard interesting things about this match. I mean, we were waiting for it, and apparently they were supposed to be studying for it. So yes. <laughs> yes, I saw that. <laughs> Somebody, all right, y'all didn't see it, but for like a half second, somebody posted a screen cap of frame data <laughs> in the chat. Yo, right. yo, we got frame data. Uh, all right. Yep. Okay. After that, Chester and Yuzuku right. should be up, so we should be able to have take care of them. I didn't see it. It was like an actual like screenshot of somebody's desktop. I don't even remember who sent it. It was funny as fuck. <laughs> it was like a screenshot of the dude's uh, Excel open with frame data. It had like all the moons and everything. Sick. That's funny. Alright, so we got Skeleton on the left side. Tasty Gore on the right side. No, Neko? Let's go. Neko RKS, yes, okay. Let's go. Apparently this is the good version of like Neko Arc. You don't pick full moon unless you want to lose. <laughs> it's real, it's real. 
It really is happening. Like this is... It's live on your screen. I'm kind of excited, actually. I'm not going to lie. This is live I'm on your excited. screen. We're watching. Straight from the depths of the multi cord. <laughs> Right, let's go. I'm just I'm just staring at this and I'm kind of laughing because it's like dang. <laughs> it really did be like that today. Alright, we're going to classic. Let's go. <laughs> let's see it. Yeah. Show me what you got. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Air throw, let's go. Combo roots. Oh yes. We got conversions? We got conversions. <laughs> we got air movement. We got air lasers. Oh wow. Okay, okay, this okay. Simple B&B. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking questions? I mean, so far right now, Skeleton's dominating. <laughs> it's great. Oh, it's very good. There oh you my go, god, that air throw. That's actually kind of wild <laughs> how fast that air throw came out. Love to see it. Oh no. In case you're wondering. Beam. That's such an aggressive angle for that, too. <laughs> oh, alright! Okay. Alright, alright. Style okay. on let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Set up? Get the okay. Get the setup. Go. Nice. Set up the pressure. Alright, yeah. Beam. Beams. Like I said, beam is so aggressive. That's such an aggressive angle. Like, like, you have to respect it. Yeah. Out. yeah. Unless you're above him. Yeah, unless you're, like, directly above him. But, but if you're, like, like, like that, that's actually a good move. Oh, here we go. Nice, good combos. Yeah, no circuit spark. Not yet. Yeah, can't do it. I just want to point out, oh though, how God. much more damage. How much more damage that Akia has put in after only hitting him once. That's true, right? Touch like literally he hit him one time and it's like, oh, he's already at half health. Where it took him like four hits individually Look at this to actually life. get in. Jesus, yeah. Oh no. Oh uh, if he got that confirmed. There you go. Okay, I, was gonna, going to... I was gonna be like, when is the key coming in? Yeah, what's he? Alright. Getting all that red light. Oh, oh never mind, oh, never mind. mind. That combo's gonna do it. Yep. Oh, look, finally we hit a combo that hit 3k. We did it, guys. We have achieved it. We achieved, like, a slightly above average damage. You got it. It's, it's fine. Got it. It's called going for the reset. Going for the reset. <laughs> we, got, we got option select. Yep, yep. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, this is a big combo. That? That's a huge there combo. There's your 4k damage. Yeah, that was like wild. Oh, oh no feels confirm. bad. Feels bad to be Necro Arc with your damage. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Your stubby let's normals go, cannot go. beat Akia with actual good normals. Oh, well, that must have been a mistake. Yeah. That seems like it was Getting to the bar yet? Ooh, nice. Oh my god. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I didn't ex was not paying attention to the life bars. So when they ended up dying, I was like, oh wait, that was it. That was it? They <laughs> died? Wow. That was tech climate I was so tech club active. Cause it was just like a, it was a it was like a it was a free for all match going on there and I was like, dang, what's going on? Ooh, nice. nice. <laughs> oh, no. in the corner. Okay, you got a root. Oh no. Disaster? Oh no. The truest of disasters. Oh no, dear god. Let's go. Absolutely we're skeleton out here. Amazing. Two zero. The lord. The lord. <laughs> Two zero right there. Yo, we and, out here uh, representing the truest of bottom tiers. We got this. That was godlike. That was, that was godlike. actually godlike. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I think Yuzuke and. Uh... I want to say Yuzuki. Yeah, let's try Yeah, right. We had to do about Yuzuki and Chester. You're right Did about that. Right? I want to say they played. Uh, let's. I'll. Let's, let me ping them. I, know, I mean, I see the the IP down. So let me let me try to actually connect to them and see if they can. Yeah, they have the IP up. So let's see.
If so, we'll just catch up with them. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, I see him in there. Oh, they finished. Oh, they just they literally finished. Just, they fin just finished. All right, we're Okay. That's, that's probably going to crash my caster. Hold on. Okay, maybe not. All right, we're good. What was the score? Tell me. I mean, we have the match Reno, don't we? Tell me. Oh, yeah, guys. We used the match Reno. <laughs> He's a match unit. It's a $19.58. Please appreciate my uh, my ticker bar at the bottom that I work super hard on. <laughs> <laughs> Always uh, remind me. got Tastycore and Yuri in the way bottom of the losers. That has to catch up. All right, um, let's do that one. Let's yeah, let's do that one. Let's just go for it. Right? Let's watch as much Melty as humanly possible. <laughs> Eli is Yuri, I want to say. Yeah. Yep, yep, let's go. Ready when they are. That is way in the loser's bracket. And then from there, we should be able to just watch. How have we managed to watch like almost every single match? I think like only three or four matches have managed to go off stream. <laughs> that is a uh, victory in and of itself. All right. That's pretty good, yeah. Got to admit. Tell your friends, Melty is on every other Thursday, guys. This is going to be a bi-weekly thing moving forward. It's going to be a lot of fun. It only gets bigger from here. I mean, hey, it's only going to it. It only it starts small and it gets big. Isn't that how everything starts off? Absolutely. All right. Looks okay. like IP is out. Yep, 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 yep. Category is Genshin Impact. Is it? Is it still? Jesus. I actually changed it. We've been playing Genshin, Genshin for the Impact. past few hours. Trust me. Genshin Impact is powerful. <laughs> no, I'm not sure the chat would object to that, but <laughs> you know? I'm hey sure man. the chat, hey I'm man. sure every. I know all of you are cool with it. Hey. That's. Hey, Genshin Impact is a good game. Dang it. Yeah, it's fine. It's pretty good. I played. I played. Shoutouts to Genshin Impact for having good male character designs. You know what? I agree with that. I don't play that game, though. <laughs> <laughs> don't play the game? You know, you gotta take what you can get. Alright, looks like You take are... those small victories. You gotta take those small victories. You pulled it. A... Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to talk about Gotcha while the, <laughs> the, component... the competitors connect. You know, I want Die Look, but I haven't had a chance, chat. I haven't been playing as much. Lots of great art. <laughs> dot, 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 Lots dot. of yes. great a art. A lot of great art. You know? You just need to, add, you need to add those additional apostrophes in there just to add that emphasis. Hey, it's fine. It's got lots of great art design and uh, character, character fan art. I don't know. What do you want to call it? <laughs> I mean, one could say it is not safe for work content. It is what it is. That's true. <laughs> or, a, no, we, we don't mean think, that at all. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. This is a family friendly stream. I, I think know. it is, at least. Yeah. You keep, it, keep it on the low. Keep it on the low. <laughs> keep it on the low down, low down here. All right, here You're being go. too wild. They're, they're in there. Oh, Tasty nice. Tasty Core versus Yuri. Never in their lives. You know they would never. Oh, yo, Elko. Let's go. My character. My monkey mode character. Let's go. Hey, one second. I need to get <laughs> Yeah, Elko. Is it full moon? Is it full moon or... Okay, half moon. Okay. It's not, it's not the big Boonga Boonga all go, but it's pretty good. I mean, I mean but on, I've, I haven't heard many versions that actually are bad for Aoko. No, yeah, no, I don't think any of the I don't think any of the moons are necessarily bad, but they're but definitely yeah, different. Oh! Yeah. Oh, okay. can you block it? Yes. Yep. 
Skeleton, that is, Skeleton, Skeleton is absolutely right about that. All right, there you go. Wow, pressure. Get that pressure. Delicious. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh my. Okay. Pressure. Use that. Oh, that fuzzy. Using the delay to catch the overhead. See, right there. Yeah, so. Nice. Yeah, wow. Taste of core. Taste of core just to bar it out, saying, nope, you gotta keep a tie, bro. <laughs> Went for the delayed mash, it worked out. Gotta chill. Ah, no, I can't do that, man. <laughs> we'll never get to the end of this. <laughs> oh my. Get the combo? That's scary. Is for getting all that juicy damage. Nice. Nice. Three shots per combo, that sounds like a good way to fucking use this combo just a little bit. All look, right, at that, look at that chip, by the way, from yeah, the pillar. That's all I've been watching. This is just like insane amount of corner pressure. Oh, there you go. Just clip him with pillar. the call. Just walks into pillar. Yeah, this is very. This just seems very tricky to navigate if you're just not aware of the pillar's facing. Because it's just like, she sets up that pillar and then it's just like, how do you approach that situation? And then like, Tasty Core has so consistently been like, getting those conversions to make those pillars... Yeah, this, that's one scary. of the things, right? This is like one of the most consistent uh, combo. I want to say like, in terms of combo consistency, like, this is absolutely studied the, studied the routes. Flawless stuff. Yep. Get a little drop there. Oh, well, apparently. Uh, I still respect it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't just, matter. Doesn't just, matter. Just rebeats into it. We are, we got here. We We're got fine. Alright. It's a 1 0 for Yuri. Is that a GG's? Is it? Yeah, that was it. That was two games. Oh, that was two games? Yo, where? When did that happen? <laughs> wow. Yep, yep. Okay. Was that a 2 0? Yeah, it was. Okay, wow. Yeah, it was 2 0. <laughs> My bad, I don't yep. even know. I was just watching, I was having such a good time. Alright. We were having a nice chill situation. We were not totally prepared for someone to die like literally 30 seconds. I was seconds like, in. I was like, wait, you got shot already? <laughs> you walking that down happen? the back alleys. You walking down the back alleys, your friend got shot and you just keep talking and you don't yeah, notice. Yeah, you're keep you keep going, yeah, yeah. Just you just literally look behind you. Chilling, like, alright. What dude, what happened to you? And you're just like, wait a second, my friend got shot. Dang, I need to run to you. <laughs> you're just chilling. I was just chilling. I was like, wait a minute. You got shot. All right. Last match before the top eight, uh, Pantheon is completed. It's going to be top seven, but it happens. Um, what happened? It's going to be Squid. Versus okay, Taste. Squid versus... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, it's Squid. It's Eli. My bad. I fucked that up. Oh, Eli versus Squid? Okay. Yeah, because Yuri got the 2 0 protected. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. Let me load up the uh, top eight one more time. Wait, what was it? Zero two and Tasty Course? Wait a minute, do I have it wrong? Hold on, what happened here? Oh, yeah, didn't I win? Oh, okay. yeah, Tasty Core win. Tasty Core won. Wow. Okay, my bad. Yeah, it seems like, seems like I maybe had the IP wrong. <laughs> okay. The greatest of sadness occurred. Rough. All right, no big deal. Squid is still in. At least we caught that. Yeah, At we least caught we caught that, that quickly. That would have been so weird. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Tasty Core was the CSA. I think I had the names wrong. That was my bad. That was my bad. I will correct it in the VOD. It happened. 
These pools. Pools are pools are a hectic place to be in. Alright. There it is. IP is out. Let's go nuts. Yeah, Tasty Core was the C Sam. Let's see. Alright, they're connecting now. Well, I'm trying to connect and see what happens. Yeah, the same. Yeah, time, time out. out. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna let... I think Squid will probably be okay to host. You have an idea of the top eight now. This is where we're at so far. Squid yep. Pope versus Tasty Core. Okay. I think this Second might be IP. a little correct. I will have that fixed. All right. Second IP is out. Okay. Second. There is multi. There's always at least one person. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's pieces core. I'll get in. I'm trying to get in right now. Man, you know, this is totally unrelated to the actual players, but I really love the sprite work in this game. Oh, for sure, right? That's one of the nice things about Melty, right? Style just does not age, I think. It's just so good. All right, so Tasty Core on the left side. Squid on the right, and I can tell you that by the Dorito color uh, Nero that we got. But uh, the Dorito color, Dorito cheese Nero. I know. But I was going to say just the orange jacket. You know, somebody said Dorito Nero earlier, so I'm like, I'm inclined to call it that. <laughs> but this called orange. We call orange Dorito, and I'm just like, okay. I'm cool with this. Here we go. <laughs> yep. No conversion. So one thing I noticed already is that Akiha has to really maneuver around Nero's large and scares like to see and giant spike beetle insect arm. Yeah, but she this pride, this character is a monster, so. Yep, I mean we're already seeing that right now. Look at that. You, you the thing is like a character like this, if you get it like if they get their opponent you don't have yep, to. Yep. You don't have to think about it anymore. Alright. Not air the No. Yeah. Cover in his face. Move in there. Keep him in the corner. Tell him to say no. You cannot move. Oh no. Can't deal. Nice. All right. Nice. Just don't lose. Don't lose the position, right? That's kind of the thing. I mean, seeing Squid give up is really good positioning, very easily. Uh, Aww, right. that was unfortunate. But that was a good try from Squid, though. He was realizing the power of arm. You see, yes. when you realize the power of arm, you grow your third eye, and you, <laughs> and you become that much more powerful. 
You know I believe it. See? See, there you, you go, see, see that? There you go, see, there you go. He presses the button, and things happen. Isn't it great? You see, guys, this is what it happens when you learn the power of arm. You oh, open your third eye and you became a better this fighting player. Some B&B here, right here. Let's go. Good blocking, though. I'm surprised to see those oh, no. shield bunkers. I'm not gonna lie, I forget that's an actual mechanic that you can use to get out of like oh, yeah. situations like this. I'm, I'm just surprised he I'm not just tried it. it. He literally just tried and then died. Yeah, yeah, he heard me say it, my bad. <laughs> he heard me say it. <laughs> I wonder if both of them heard you say it and he intentionally. Yeah, they thought about it. It was a mind game. Commentator mind game. Alright, Jason Gordon needs one more round. <laughs> the curse of commentators. Now I gotta hold that, honestly. Oh no. Nice. We got B&B, &B. let's go. Is it a perfect? Wow, there you go, shield gets punished. Oh, smack him. Yeah, don't, don't let, don't go down without a fight. Nice. No, you can <laughs> Guys, guys, see? Ah, uh, he's right. close. He almost, he almost had it there. Alright, there you go. 2-0. That is decided. GG's. Yep, yep. <laughs> Basic core, moving on. And with that, our <laughs> top seven are pretty God much decided. It's actually top six, really, because uh, Booby Cop and Chris Bardo already played. Um, but hey, that's okay. So it's going to be next up a uh, Skeleton versus Lem in the winner's uh, semifinals. So that's going to be a big one. Skeleton, I hate you for saying this, but I also respect you immensely. <laughs> the Chad Cena, you know? <laughs> this is going to be a powerful match too, because Lem is mad good. So let's see. All right, yeah, so from see. here, from here, folks, let's pull up the bracket one more time. Let me just refresh that. Set bracket data. All right. So here's where we're at currently. We got, we got to play skeleton. Then from there, it's going to be. Uh, it looks like that's a little bit. Yeah, that's correct. So, loser of that has to fight uh, Chester and uh, Chris Bardo and Tasty Core still got to go at it. So this is gonna be yep, Skeleton Lem and then then yeah, we can then go into losers' quarters and then we can set up winners and finals. Yeah, we're in a we're in a good track. Like a pretty, I would say a pretty respectable top. I would say we're at a pretty respectable rate. What do you think, my guy? I think uh, we're. How long have we been here? An hour. And we're so we're just about getting into the top six ish type thing, so it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. All right, yep, Lem we got versus skeleton. We got him in the match. Oh yeah, yeah. We should probably see if we're actually gonna be watching. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, did you... Huh? Oh, okay, they are catching up. Okay. It's gonna be a catch-up. Is that a Kuma? Or... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they're really... Okay, I see. Alright, we're caught up. Gotcha. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. The pressure is real. Wow, okay. Here to here, let's go. This is gonna be a slug fest. Let's see it. It looks like it. Lem's Roa kinda nice. Alright. Yep, being a stagger. Okay. Oh no. 
you got max. Lock it. No punish. You can't do that. Nope, you just plus there. It's okay, he mashed out. It's fine. It's fine. It's See? Fine. Mashing out with front works out. There you go. Oh my god. That's the setup. That's, okay. that's cool animation. Oh, just reverse suicide. Can you? Yeah, you're regenerating that red health. Ooh, can you get a hit? Ooh, nice. I'm taking it around. Back and forth. Let's go. Oh my god. Nice. Just, just holds out the shield as long as possible. Nice. Oh no, my god. Oh. That was kinda wild. Yeah, he's dead now. Throw. Air throw finish that job. So close. It's okay. Lem's Lem is down for one round, but he is not out. Yeah, he's down but not out. He's pretty good. Yep, yep, so, yep. this is a winner semi. He's got plenty of room to work with. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, no. Not a great start. Not a great start, but... That's looking nasty. He's got this. He'll be fine. He'll be it's fine. Nice Only damage. lost 8k in the process. Only, Only 8K. lost 8k. Yeah, he's plus. Plus in your face. Alright, yep, get in there. There you go. He's got oh, yeah. him. Oh, no. The hitbox. The hitbox. Unfortunate for him. It's okay. He'll be fine. Doesn't punish. Block reversal. It is what it is. Yeah. Oh no. Nice. Oh no. <laughs> Dash forward back. Try to get the mix. The staggers. Oh, the staggers. Oh my god. Skeleton. Jeez, man. Skeleton, calm down. Chill, doggy. All right. No, don't chill. Don't chill. Go crazy. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. All right. Skeleton okay, two zeros that. Skeleton out here asserting his dominance. Skeleton is chilling in winners finals. Looks like uh, next up is gonna be Chris Bardo versus Tasty Core just to give Lem the breather. At least it wasn't Nack, you know. At least it wasn't. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what? You know, thing is, see, you know, at least see coma. You don't feel bad about it. With and with Neko Art Chaos, you're just like, man, I feel sad. Like all those, it's it's such a conflicted feeling of man, I lost. But it wasn't at least Neko Art Chaos, I guess. <laughs> you know. It's Neko, then it's it's Neko. Yeah. Oh yeah. The best Good stuff, NH, Skeleton though. Yeah, I mean, that's it's you know that's what you got. That, that if it, it definitely felt oppressive. It definitely felt like you 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 kind of knew what you were doing. <laughs> Air laser. Where is the TC core? Right, let's go. Again, guys, feel free to share the stream before we're sitting in the middle of winners' finals, grand finals. Hit that matcherino, pay these players out. <laughs> Give them some money. Skeleton. I wonder if Skeleton is like one of those guys who'd be like, yo, just let me play my characters. I'll beat you regardless of the situation. You know, that's what you gotta do. That's how you gotta be. Let, allow me to assert my dominance, please. So you gotta be. You do whatever you want. All right, Tasty Core Chris are loading up now. Got him on spectator. Uh, actually, it doesn't boot up for me, so give me a second. Sure. 
We're in top eight minimum pain. We're fine. <laughs> well, you missed the. Uh, let me just see. I think you guys. Are... I think they're good. I'm not sure if they're caught up. All right, they're good now. Yep, yep, yep. This key has been really entertaining to watch, honestly. It has been. It's been very fun. I gotta say, or like this key has Melty been. is a pretty fun game. Like, it's this a pretty is pretty prototypical game. anime stuff. Like, if you guys want to know what Melty's about, just watch the key. It'll work. I mean, you could also just like watch any other Melty game. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. So if you don't know, right? The the moon styles are basically groups. Um, they, they're a little more drastic in grooves because they actually change the characters like overall play style pretty significantly depending on who we're talking about. Uh, so it's, it's it's a step above what a groove would be, but it's the same idea. Yeah, this, character, this game has uh, the roster times three. They're like triple the roster that you see on the screen because the moon styles are such drastic changes. Mode. What you got? Jumps up, cool. Yep. Oh, I tried to dash underneath, get caught by the jump. I believe it was jump. No, it's jumpy. Jumpy. Yep. Oh, wow. Nice. Straight hit conversion. Good day. We all gotta admire the fact that those air counter hits are pretty powerful. They're really good, yeah. The, the, the consistency with the conversion is really. Got him! Nice shield, but doesn't get anything. Oh, mash out! Let's go! Oh, nice mash. Finally, catching right. the stagger. Oh, got a oh, that lot was a of red health, in. but what are you gonna do with it? Don't get hit! There you go! Literally, don't, don't get hit! The classic. So far, he's doing a good job. Alright, 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 alright. Look at the knives. He needs to build that meter. Got it. Oh. oh, yo! Is scary? Build the meter, get the builder. Yeah, no, definitely. That was a good try. Yeah, pillar. Alright. That's a uh, one point for AC Core. Yeah, that was. That was pretty. It was looking pretty clutch from CL how she was able to dodge most of them to the very last moment. I was, I was seeing it. I was, I was completely down with it. Hey man. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, alright. No, no, no. Ooh, sure goes for the, Never goes mind. For the cheeky grab. Say, and now he pays for it. He will not pay for it with his life. Oh! Oh no. Crumpled. That's bad. No, okay. it's fine. This is fine. Where's the shield bunker? This is fine. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know. You say you should shield bunker, but every time someone's attempted to shield you bunker, you know, I'm okay. I said it one time, and then... <laughs> you know, I know well, it's you, a risky you option, it, but, but like every time someone's attempted to shield bunker the pillar so far, it has not ended. No, well no, you don't want to shield shield uh, shield block uh, pillar. You want to shield block block screen. Like, Oh my god. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, oh, we've seen, we've been here before. Oh, oh no. We've been here before. It's one more mix up. There we go. Let's go. Ah, oh, the overhead. That was, <laughs> the that magic was pixels. Hell. Not one, but two. Hey, man. Hey, man. That man has been on, has been living on the edge. I respect. Miss Bardo. Just, just trying to make, oh. it, make it work. Trying to get by. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Nice. Yep, setting up the combo. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh. So close. Ah, oh, it doesn't get the conversion. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, 
guy. Clip. That was nice. Good stuff from Tasty Core. Just setting up that pillar. <laughs> oh. Okay, recovers in the air, but uh, I don't want to do that. Good air, good air, good air, good air. I'll give him that. Chris has the good air ears. Yeah, pretty strong. Must say good strong air. Okay, air. wait, here we go. This character is a monster. I must, yeah. must call it what it is. I'm watching some obscene stuff. Gets All the right. gra command grab into the combo. Not death. Not death, not death. We've been here before. Yes, we have actually multiple times. We've been here two times before now. Where are yep, we yep. at? We really can't yep. go either way. Alright. I mean, this is the one thing. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's a good uh, oh. oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Uh, straight pillar, straight pillar. Is, uh, good enough, though. Yeah, Tasty Core 2 0. Tasty Core getting it in there. Taking in that nice money. Taking that money. All right. Good stuff. Tasty Core. Already reported scores and everything. Very good. All right, next up is going to be Lem versus Chester. Chester or Chester? You beep, beep, beep. That's going to be a loser's quarters as well. All right. There's Len. This guy ain't here to waste time. Here to play the game. I'm definitely down for this. I too just want to play the game. I should wait. Oh well. Does not matter. We'll be fine. I just want to say, there's a lot of people who turned up today, but there's like 14 people in the Carnops bracket. That's going to be sick. That's going to be fun. If you guys haven't watched Carnops in a minute, if you've never watched that game, watch it. It's so immediately enthralling. It's so, it's like, like, people, like a fighting game when there's just insane things going on the stream, it's like, Carnops is like, like amazing to watch. Hey man, hey man. You're describing Marvel as well. Yeah, Maybe right. Yeah, no, but it's like that, right? Like, it's like, like if all you know about Karnovs is the balloon or 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 wheel kick or like one particular part of it, you're miss you're you're missing the big picture. You're missing so much about it. Um, that's a lot. So that's honestly funny. a lot of fighting games. There's a it, lot of games it, like it, that. I, I would think say. like even like you know, and I, I like a lot of a lot of uh, game like uh, arcade games like that, but it's just so. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's Carnival's Revenge is so amazing to watch. Like, uh, all right, oh, they said they're in. Yeah, they're in. They said they're in. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of games like that where they're like they're kind of wild in that they do so much. Lem's you know, on the, Lem's on the right side. Let's see here. Lem's on the right side. You say. Uh, maybe one of them. Do you want to? Oh yeah, they, we need to rejoin it. It's like unfortunate. Seriously, like if you guys and I heard, uh, I heard Lord BBH is going to be helping with commentary. Lord BBH is like he knows everything about those games. <laughs> So if you haven't watched, he knows everything. He, yeah, that man has done like he's done. I think it was him who did the like the roulette of like every single main game or something like that from like a specific era, like something something insane like that. He knows anyway. He knows Carnival's like the back of his hand. He's really good at it. Um, so <laughs> check out that bracket. It's really funny. It's I'll extreme, definitely be excited for it's that. It's extremely when funny I do game. A lot I believe it. Okay. They said they're in. They're in? Alright. Paste that code one more time. Alright, Lem on the left side this time. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting in there. That's an issue. Let me try something that. Maybe I'll just watch it on screen. Let me go from there. Uh, I can cast a spell. 
I don't know why I just didn't get in there. Can I try it again? Try it again. Try it one more time because we're still catching it. Let's make Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. There, let me just cast the screen so we can start. Uh, okay, it's good. Oh, it's good? Okay, okay. we're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just have to... I don't know why I didn't do that there. But yeah, I have all of the catch up. So I'll just kind of fill in the gaps. Yeah, okay. Uh, we, we may be having yeah, some idea problems on the stream. Mostly. <laughs> So who was it? Lem versus... Yeah, okay, Discord screen share is active. Oh yeah, it's Lem versus... Um, Chester. Yeah, sorry, right, I'm gonna have to restore the spectator. Alright, let me restart the spectator. Sorry about that, guys. It looks like... Oh, it disconnected. It's, uh, it's acting up because of Discord. Hold on. Unfortunate, I guess? <laughs> Discord does that now. We're like, if you try to stream Melty over Discord, it fucks up. Alright, That's weird. It's gonna have to catch up. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Okay, Lem got that first round. Lem looking mad nice. Great. No, 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 no. Oh god, Roa, please, calm down. Roa, please! The most fair of characters, by the way. Damn, Lenham already got a point, too. Yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I'm wasting time. Alright, we're caught up. Yep, 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 yep. Nice shield bunker, there you go. Jesus. There he is, that's what I like to see. Yep. Chester kind of making making the adjustments, trying to get that round back. But Roa is getting in there one time and getting in that juicy damage means he just needs that one extra hit. And I say that gets a side switch. Yeah. Start. Oh. Okay. Wow. Circuit spark was uh, surprisingly risky. Interesting. Doesn't go for the meaty. Oh, that's death. Oh, death. Let's go. That's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah. How? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Hit. Oh, air no, blocking no, the lightning. Yep. Those staggers. Just going with the staggers. Nice. Very simple staggers to take the round against Len. There you go. All right, tying it up. Starting to see some real competition here. Oh yeah. I'm not sure if any match. Yeah, everything is clean sweep so far. So yeah, this is the first time I've seen a good. one one. As far as I'm aware. Yeah. Nice goes for the sweep. Gets a knockdown. Set up the situation. Yo, I'm plus boy. Mash out. How dare you? Nice. Nice. Nice, man. Okay. That is that full? Is that kill? Not quite. No. You got heat. He's going for You're heat. not going to get a lot of health back here, but... Uh... Hey, it's better. It's better than no. this. Week. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Yo, my God. damage. Be careful. Oh, uh, the jump C. The Lord. It's not arm, but it's a pretty good button. It's good. That's always catching him, that stagger. 
I wonder if he's trying to react to it and mash out, or if he's trying to jump out during that pressure sequence. Because he got hit by it every single time. Getting a small combo, nice. Oh no. This is somewhat scary. This is actually really scary for uh Not sure I feel what about is this it, Oh no. Death? That's death. No, no. Almost, 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 almost. Uh -oh. Bolts off, thank you for the block. raid. Welcome everybody. Lightning for the air unblockables. The most unfortunate of sadness. Bonesaw is ready. How you doing, Bonesaw? What's good? All right, is that it's that's a two o for Lem? It looks like. No, no, it's not two o. It's two one. It's two one. Oh yeah, it's two one. My bad. It's two one for Lem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lem, Six, Lem did a good job. Lem Just did, real did a pretty good. good job. That was real nice too. What's up, Riptorn? Whole crew is here. Hell yeah. I do. I'm gonna take the chance to say it now. Next week we're gonna be doing uh, Punch Planet. Finally, the run back edition. Punch Planet, you wanted you to get bodied in this? Don't worry, I, I'm gonna have you, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. We're, we're gonna be running Punch Planet back this week. What's up, Bonemi? Alright, good stuff. Good stuff to Chester, man. You didn't play bad at all. Alright. Yeah, indeed. I agree with the statement. Alright. Where are we at now? Um, oh, yo, we're getting a Punch Planet Weekly in. Hell yeah, I'm excited for yeah, this. Yeah, Punch Planet Weekly next next week is going to be on, on the stream. That's nice. that's the, I haven't had to say it, but we agreed on it last night. So, uh, What do we want to do, winners or losers? Um, how close are we to... Like, I guess let's look at the bracket real fast. Like, What does the bracket look like? Yeah, let me update the bracket right now, actually. All right, we got loser semis, Lem versus Tasty Core. Let's just go ahead and do that. Why not? Lem versus Tasty Core. Okay. Uh, Lem is a tough man. He can, he can get through it. He can take it. He can take it. Um, let's see. We could um do winners finals now, set up for losers finals, and give Lem like a break. Uh. See. All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's do winners finals first. Let's, let's I think that would probably be that was, better. That flow. was like my, I think my initial, my initial thoughts. I think that's a good call. Yeah. So it's gonna be skeleton. I like that. That way we give booby cop give Lem chilling so, for like thirty yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 let's get them. Let's get them on. Get I think going. that's fair at least. Yeah, let's get skeleton on here. They've been chilling for a minute. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, it's three out of five. Yeah, and Lem, is, Lem literally just went through like two consecutive matches. Maybe we should give him a break. Yeah, give him a break. Give him a break, break. Let him chill. Everybody who's just tuning in, feel free to hit the Matcherino. Um, got Matcherino in the chat. Type it there. Use the code NBNMBWeek1. I too also like seeing Roa that's not Crescent Roa be on screen, but... I think we need a we need a break we'll there. Give him, we'll give him a break. He's real good. He's real good. All right, here we go. <laughs> We're getting in now. Give it. Skeleton. Skeleton on the left side is what I got. Okay. So we have skeleton. I do not know which one is skeleton. I. Skeleton on left side. They're good to go. All right. Okay. Skeleton on the left side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I. <laughs> I don't know if I would feel happy or sad if I knew that uh, Skeleton chose a Neko Arc versus this matchup. Okay, he Neko, does. He's easier for business. Business casual. Business casual. <laughs> I would, I would feel, I would feel sorry for Skeleton if he did that matchup, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, okay. Oh, actually, that is a good question. Is it three out of five? It is. Winners finals. Five. It final? is three out of five. This is a three out of five. Okay. Okay. It's a three out of five. Okay. Good to know. So it is a first to three for anyone who does not know. You gotta win three times. Come on. 
Alright, I wanna see this Nero. Okay. Look at that power of 5C right there. Wow. Nice, nice. Get Yo, the there you forward. go. That was actually genius. Yo, only the most casual of 4K damage. This is a chunky character. Indeed. Oh, crushed it. it. Oh! Yeah. Nice. Perfect shield Punishes timing. It. Oh, no. What's the sand grab? <laughs> Armor. <laughs> <laughs> it's just shield in his face. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna be a lot. Alright, you got oh, that. I'm not sure if that was a good trade, but it definitely helped him gain this situation in there. Koma with the air grab. Nice, nice. Oh my god. Wow, that was like the a reaction split air second throw with Godlike. Throw. Godlike. I think he literally reacted to it and just did the air thrown reaction. Because he didn't go for the air dash. Oh my god. Nice. Ball. Arm. Arm. Nice. Reverse is reverse the situation to get it. Oh. Look at that. Look at his shield usage. I think he's just reacting to like the air normal that he's doing because they're doing he's doing them too high up. So chaos is just like getting hit way more frequently than in the other sets we saw with uh, with uh, who was it? I forget. It's Le it's skeleton versus. Lem? We we booby cop we bo so oh, yeah. Web, cop oh, yeah. Web has been booby cop is, is like the yeah, so like one thing I've noticed in this matchup is like web booby cop was not being nearly punished with the air normals of uh, Neko Arc, but not Neko Arc, but Neko uh, Chaos, and because he's been coming getting shielded more by skeleton, skeleton's been landing way more hits. Ah, checked in. I said no. You gotta respect this. Nice. Called him out this time. All right, you got deer pressure. Keep him in the corner. Don't let him reversal. You can. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Yo, look at how look at how smooth that jumping was. See right there. You know, I think he realizes. Um, Plus in your face. Let's go. I think he realizes that. Um, Cop likes to jump back, jump uh, into jump B a lot, so he's just calling it out with the shield a lot more. So Cop is just getting hit way more consistently, and Skeleton's just exploiting that. Oh, this is this looks like a big combo. How much damage are we doing? Oh, we we have 5k. We got 5k. Oh, yo, we got 5.3k on that. No, you know, just casual, casual stuff. Kuma things. Only half, only half health combos in this house right here. We got Koopa stuff. Nice. Yes, see? Oh! He, those, these shields are, are really. They're tickling. They're wrong right point. They're, they're hitting me. They're hitting me just right. Oh my god. Oh, that would have oh, been sick. Okay, oh, yeah. it didn't matter. Get in his face. Get in his face. Kuma just right. coming in there, just asserting his dominance right there. Skeleton needs one more. We've been, we, this is two games already, right? Yeah, it is two games already. My god, Skeleton with the most OD of Kumas. It's really, it's really fun to watch. <laughs> Skeleton is such a and fun game to watch. having a hard time dealing with, dealing with it. My god. Nice. Cop is fighting out. Fight. Cop. Cop is just trying to take a breather, but Kuma is suffocating. Suffocating him so consistently. Finally gets the breathing room they need. Checks him. This is good damage. This is it. This is it. Get it. Alright. This is the start of something. Yeah, that snake was going to do a whole lot. Oh, uh, no. Alright, skeleton. I think he more. wanted to do jump medium, but he was actually scared that he would get shielded. So he did arm instead. Oh. There we go. Nice grab. Good 
Yeah, there's a lot of that more shield back and we're calling out to each other to keep that pressure. Oh my god, how many arms we got? How many arms? Take a shot. Trust me, if we if we had a Nero match and we fought more optimal Neros, we would need we would die of blood uh, blood alcohol oh, I know. after one match. Somebody wants to do that for Oko, but that's not so dangerous. That's not a Soko day. It's not, but you know. <laughs> I gotta worry about the Soko day idea. That one seems a little dangerous. Oh, all right. Yo. Uh, uh, Kopp Kopp got the, got Look around. at that pressure, nice and clean. Cop. Yeah, when cops get started, biggest, he's actually able to stop Koma from straight up murdering them. They actually get some stuff going. But like, oh my god, Skeleton is just suffocating, suffocating chaos so consistently right now. Oh, here we go. Nice. Something, something, something. Oh, dive kick. The power of dive kick. There we go. Oh, loops? We got deer loops. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, hitbox moment. Look at that. That, that hit oh about God. as far away as I think it could. Let me get frame display. He doesn't have enough to kill here, but the next hit will. This is kind of scary. Oh. What? Yeah, no, no. That was weird. That was a weird interaction. I, I, I don't think I've seen that super in some time. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a skeleton. 3-0. Skeleton coming. Securing a grand finals position. They're doing a great job. Yep. That was so powerful. Skeleton that leg said, was know, so powerful. I think what we saw there is a lot of really good shielding by both Skeleton and Wee Booby Cop. The shields were like amazing. That was like the best shielding I've seen this entire like tournament. Honestly. I think what was also really good was I think Skeleton, what I noticed is that he shielded at very specific points. Like he shielded at very low jump arcs for Neko to call out jump M. And I think at that angle, he couldn't do arm for pressure unless he was much lower to the ground. So it was this weird situation where Cop couldn't apply like like the big buttons like descending that like Nero, Nero wants to do because they're too slow and they're too easily blown up by the shield. So we started noticing like Cop tried to do like weirder like buttons. Like he tried to go for like jumps, low jump C, which got him blown up. And then he tried like adjusting to uh, just kind of an air dash backwards to kind of build space. And then once that happened, Skeleton was like um, moving, was able to move in so much freely and control the situation and just started like rushing down Chaos before Chaos could really do anything. And I think it was like really smart play from Skeleton. Real nice to watch. Um, I think they're oh, very cool. Yep. Yep. Right Lem there. versus Tasty Core. The helpful. All right. One moment. You guys got top eight on the screen. Very glad to have a proper top eight bracket. We, I spent like nights trying to figure it out. Oh, slight error in the game. What happened there? Hold on. Yeah, arm is worse than jumpy, but it's a different timing, is what I was saying, Chaos Max. At least that's what I think. I think that's what he was trying okay, to I'm do. Gonna to I'm not sure if that was the actual reason for it. I'm going to restart my caster. Oh, on a second. Little bit of difficulties. A little bit of difficulties, just a little bit. We have a few bit of difficulties. Uh, I'm getting a very weird error. It's not good.
little bit of mid-air troubleshooting. Give me just a second here. Hmm. I wonder. Why am I getting a direct three here? It's not good. That's weird. I got in. That is not good. <laughs> Sir Skeleton trying to push the agenda of everyone learning Neko Arc Chaos. You know? It is what it is. Let me open this as an admin and see if that helps. We just need to say praise our almighty Lord and Savior, Neko Our Chaos. Uh okay, that's not good. Let's see. You in? I am not able to join. It's giving me an error. That's weird. Because I'm fine. <laughs> let's Let see. Me... You want to, you want to, let's see, hold on. I'll share my screen. Yeah, you want to share the screen? That'll probably get us past. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Hold on a second. It is not running at the optimal frames, though. Hmm. You want to have them switch? Yeah, I think... I'm not sure if it's my particular setup or what's going on. Because... But... Yeah, I don't know. Because... It's running fine on mine. Let me. I don't know. Let me do something with it. Dreaded direct X errors. This is a very weird error for me to be having right now. This is not good. Yeah, let's try restarting the caster. Yeah, <laughs> I've restarted the caster a couple times now. It's just try restarting weird. caster. Lunar phase tech. Aw, hell yeah. I believe him. Oh my god, why is it doing this? Let me let me just do something. Hell yeah. Okay, the standard multi is, is opening, which is weird. Which makes this only weirder. How um, unfortunate. Yeah, it's very unfortunate, very unfortunate. I apologize. Let's have this resolved as soon as possible. Hmm. It may be, I'm gonna, let's see, I really, it's because TastyCore in particular cannot host themselves. Lem says, time. do you want him just to re-host? Lem, it's, I'm surprised, I don't, I wouldn't believe this is a network issue, that might be better. Hold on one second. Oh, okay. It fixed. At long last, we're back, everybody. Okay actually back. So let me um 
technical issues decide. We got this, guys. A little bit guys. of technical issues. Let's see. Now we wait for Butter and Buffer. <laughs> yeah, why don't we... Yeah, that's what I'm going to tell him. I'm going to have him rehost. I figured out what the problem was. I don't know how I fixed it in that particular way, but I did. <laughs> okay, well, I guess you guys are good. No, no, not that. That was something, something else. My computer. Okay. Yep, yep. We host this thing. Let's go. Yep. There we go. Little bit of hiccups, but we're moving forward. We in there? We are in there. Making the, the actual progress. like they're in character select. Let me see if it goes through for me this time. Okay. We're in there. Hold up. Open the game. Make sure it doesn't air out again. We're in there. Success. Success. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Let's see. What happens? Or let me see if my game actually decides to open it. Oh, Slim closed the session. All right. <laughs> I was worried. Oh, my. God. All right. Let me catch up on uh, follows real quick. Thank you, Onemi, for the follow. Thank you, Wiz Maggie. Once again, thank you, Baker, for the raid, big man. Um, thank you, Lancelot, right here. Got you right here for following me. I didn't even realize it wasn't following you, to be totally honest. No big deal. No big deal. It happens. <laughs> thank you, Real Caro, for the follow. Thank you, Delta Demon 74139. Thank you. Uh, this was a couple of days ago, but thanks, Dacid, bro. I know he followed me because I sent him my Sorry, Lem. <laughs> I feel so bad for Lem. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. That's mad funny, though. You know, it happens. It happens, everybody. Wait, look, look. This tournament has only been going for two hours. Built up. Honestly, yeah, that's actually not that bad. Like, like truth be told, that's better than you got You guys gotta building. chill, you know. You guys gotta let it. You guys gotta let there be a hiccup or two, just to keep it at a reasonable length. No what? Oh, I have the wrong IP. No wonder. Okay, shit. <laughs> I have the wrong. I have the right IP, but the wrong port. That explains a lot. Oh my god. Oh, I was like, the why, sadness. Is it not, why is it not going through? Okay, I'm back at the screen. <laughs> Tasty Core, by the way, is on the right side, and uh, Lem is on the right side. Alright, we're in. We're in. Oh my god. <laughs> Open the game. Let me make sure it actually opens. That would oh, be okay, nice. Okay. Alright, we're in. Nice. We were successful. We're back. After everything. <laughs> After everything. And hmm? uh, wait for buffer? Real quick. Uh, what? 
Okay. Gotta wait for the buffer because it is taking a second. He should cast it for the Okay. Alright, we're in. We in there? Let's go at long last. Loser's semis. Lem on the left side. Tasty core on the right. Hit that Maturino pot. We got about $28 in the pot. You guys still got plenty of chances to do codes. Plenty of chances to do sponsor quests. Oh. Nice. That was a very nice jump there. My god, this music is godlike. Let's yes, the stage. Let's just take a minute and appreciate the stage. Okay, now that we appreciate the stage. It's really some nice gameplay I'm enjoying. Stage, stage appreciation hours. That's right. Oh my god. Yo, can we take a moment to appreciate those lightnings that are air on block? Yes, we did. We have plenty of time to take them right now. Look at this. Look at this. Well, Lamb just going in. Yeah, Lamb going in. Like, nah. You, you don't get a breather against Rao, you silly goose. <laughs> Silly goose. You think you get a break against me? How dare you? Nice. Keith, nice, nice, nice. Oh no. Smash out, you gotta respect it. Knocks him right back in to continue the pressure. Aw, <laughs> uh, this is scary. That was just such a scary situation for t for uh, Tasty Core, because Tasty Core just had to like avoid the lightning and not be in the range of Rouse Dig buttons. That was so, so awkward to control. Learn how to play around the jump seat. Lem is basically just doing jump seat. Yo, there's Winty. Right. Yo, Winty. I'm gonna lay with you. I'm really sorry. Oh, a bunch of stuff happened and I can't You're up. good. Good to have you. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even know you were down in here. Yeah, I was like, Yeah, I got at the very start of the match. Yeah, so here's the set play. Great block by Lem. But, uh, her normals are actually just really good for plus frames on pressure. So, like, even if you block the set play, you still have to. Keep you don't get out. There's jump C, yeah. Tries to whiff like a 5A under it. Definitely not uh, avoiding it properly. Well, what do you think about this match specifically with the half moon over crescent moon? Variation of Roa. Do you think that this specific version has like a distinct advantage versus uh, uh, versus C Saya? Uh, I feel like C Saya's game plan kind of just does the same thing regardless. Um, I think H would be better, actually, just a little. Having more mobility to move around, definitely like dash under her with uh, two, three, six. A. Because yeah, you would. That's because good you would also have like the ability to go underneath pillar and set up those situations. Yeah, you you have a variety of punishes for a lot of things that she can do. Um, but your offense is weaker. I mean, this is raw with unblockable lightning, though. No. F F isn't air unblockable. Except for the oh, EX one. Is that air unblockable? Oh, okay, F I did not know that. Yeah, only a H is air unblockable. F is not. Oh, it's interesting then. Okay. For some reason, I keep seeing people get hit by the lightnings then in the air where they were like, look like they could block it then. Usually, you'll hit people like out of air dashes or stuff at that. Uh, yeah, because lightning where is just fat, not mad holding fast. black. They're just not holding back anyway. Okay, okay. Fair enough. That's understandable. Then again, who blocks in fighting games anyways? That's such a such a weird concept, blocking.
<laughs> such yeah. a strange, <laughs> such a strange thing to do. All right, looks like that was a two zero for Lem. Uh, next up is gonna be Booby Cop versus Lem. In okay. losers finals, this is a versus three. Okay, so this one's going to be Chaos versus Full Moon Zero. What do you think, Whitney? Do you think that there's any specific like advantage that Lem can probably juice out with um, H over? Yes, uh, yes, yes. This is. I believe this, this is a extremely unfavored for uh, Crescent uh, Chaos, if I'm not mistaken. If this is like. There's a set of matchup. There's a set of characters where it's like, if you're playing this moon, you should switch. If you're playing this character, you should switch moons against Nero because these these weird oddball characters are better against him. Atroa is one of those where it's like, you should just play Atroa. Um, super unfavored for Crescent. Yes, as well. And pretty pretty good for H. Uh, is it just because it's a fast? It's because H has like the faster, uh, has the better frame advantage to just kind of, kind of body cres uh, crescent in the corner and just kind of force their way in. Uh, again, it it comes down to H controlling neutral very well. Um, H's lightning is air unblockable and takes up a lot of space. So if Nero jumps, you can do that. And if Nero, at any time Nero summons, you lightning dash across him and you're in. Mm -hmm. Like if he if he does anything on the ground, you press two three six A, and mm. that's like the entire thing. Yeah. But Is there anything? Oh, sorry. Go on. If Nero gets a Nero can play very conservatively, get his hit, and then just run his entire standard game plan. And you're you're weighing very hard on the neutral carrying you for the entire thing. It's like an even matchup. <laughs> Man, you gotta like that. Man, a bad matchup, but it's actually even. <laughs> well, it's like switch away, switch moons to avoid the bad matchup, and you end up with this matchup that people hype it up, but in the end, it's just even. But see, the I guess thing it's... is, for Nero, having an even matchup isn't something he's used to. <laughs> you gotta like that. Man, guys. When I have R, when I have the ability of arm and jump B at my disposal, I really never thought I would have a counter. What is foreign concept? I guess what's another character that would like excel in that in that situation against Nero? Uh, another one that's commonly brought up that's kind of the same situation where it's like this character has a bunch of tools yeah, that are really useful but doesn't go all the way towards gaining a good matchup is H-Wark. H-Wark. That's yeah. kind of interesting. That's interesting. But again, she has the same sort of thing. She has an instant full-screen move. Like, even even better than uh, H-Rowers. Some, like, actual counters are uh, C-Max. Mech. Yeah, all of these characters are characters with very fast moves to hit the full screen. Mm -hmm. Like projectiles with no travel time. Makes sense. Or the dash. I guess that would make sense because that would interrupt him like from having the ability to just kinda maintain that pressure. Yeah. And then you also need something to stop him from jumping, which all those characters also have. Oh my god. Spectator, right? Oh, that was rough. Can't you see there? Get hit by the A deer. Yeah. I'm, I'm Good jumping up slowly. My bad. Oh. I just know I just saw just a huge combo at the very beginning. It's like, oh that's a lot of damage. This yeah. is fair. Love is love is having some problems getting started, but here we go. He's in max. He should IH here. He does. Uh does a post combo IH there. Nothing yeah, stopping him from just doing jump forward, jump C. Nice block on the four C, but still can't punish. Okay. Setting up the deer. Arm. 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 Set play. More set play. Yo, let me just spend all my meter. I got this. Yeah. 
The classic meter uh, dump of Nero. Yare, yare. I'm in max mode, I knocked you down. Uh, if you block one thing, you have to block 15 more things. Uh, Good luck, bro. Up opportunity. Yeah. Nope. Uh oh, please. Lem really has to not push himself outwards into the 4C range. Yeah. Just do a lot more A's and B's and stay in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's just letting him set set up stuff and can't Neko is able oh not Neko. I'm thinking of skeleton for some reason. But yeah, Chaos is just kinda like able to set up his game plan. And Lem's not able to really stop him from getting like gear set up and like maintain that pressure he needs. Uh -huh. Lem doesn't seem to be familiar with uh anti Nero tech. Mainly, if you if you hit him and he has a summon out, you just jump cancel and like aggressively IAD or something. He did like two A two A block. Instead, yeah, because and lost his entire turn. Instead like that was another good one where he could have where he could have maybe called out. Um, what is it? He could have maybe called out during the crow swarm. Yeah. But he's kind of like oh, just sitting just, in the corner. Just hard drive punish, I think. That's true. Could have been hard punish, but could have maybe gotten out of the situation. Yeah. Damage. It's okay. He's got this damage right good. now. Yeah. See. Nope. Nope. You're back, uh, and you did jump forward, jump C on the leg, which just completely blows that up. Get the median there. You're done. No, no, he's alive. Oh, not quite. Barely. But he's alive. Web, like, goes for a cheeky reset or something. Now you're in this position. Oh, yeah. low, sadness. Low, fake throw into another low. Bro, I just got 2B. That's all I need. Hmm. Look at that power up 2B. Arm! Arm! Two arms into the corner knockdown. Let me just casually walk forward and jump you, bro. There we go. Oh, but gets hit. But he's out of the corner, that's the important thing. Never mind. Gets the hit. I think he messed up doing his little dash thing there. Oh, good instant block by Webb to create the space okay. there. Yep, yep, On yep. the reset. Alright. Lem needs a bit of meter, and then he can IH. Oh. He won't die quite yet. This is okay. bad. He's almost there. Nice oh, that was scary. No. That was actually kind of dirty. So he, he wants to dump meter immediately right here. I mean, he has dealt meter right now. Yeah, oh, he never doesn't mind. want to go into max immediately, is the thing. Uh, now you're in max. Oh no. Or you can just take damage, I guess. And then blood heat, and then who knows what you're gonna do. Oh. That's, uh, not quite close enough for that to work. That was almost nice, punish. Yeah. It was just a little bit off. If he, if he hadn't needed to dash, that would've worked. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think Oh he, my god. He, that was so unfortunate. Nero, Nero is definitely a, a matchup where you need to you need to know the anti Nero tech, or he just kind of walks over you. And even and if it, you know, he still might walk over you. It's just the Nero experience. It's like, oh yeah. man, it's like, oh man, what is this character? You get hit by Arm, and then you feel. I feel like Arm is like the most demoralizing way you can possibly lose because you're just like Arm, Arm, and yeah, then it's just it's, like. The, the fact that even on a normal air hit, you go into a full corner carry knockdown without even needing to get counter hit, it definitely feels like you're punished more than you should be for the mistake that led to you getting hit by it. Yeah. It looks like we got... Uh... <clears throat>
All right, looks like we got Grands coming up next. It's going to be Skeleton versus Web Booby Cop, so it's going to be a winner's finals Oh, rematch. the run back? The run back? It's Let's gonna, go. It's going to look pretty cool. But yeah, what did you think of the the Toma, the Crescent Toma versus uh, what is Crescent Nero matchup? What do you think about that one specifically? Uh, Sikoma. Sikoma is a character that wait, wait, no. should... Wait, wait. Um... Shib, was it Crescent or was it um, Half Moon? I forget, actually. I want to say it was C. It, it, it was... should be C if yeah. it's Skeleton. Skeleton generally plays C. Okay, um, yeah, C. I feel like that's a matcha, matchup that should be very much in Nero's favor, but uh, All right. Skeleton is really good. We just kind of saw him, like, he was on reaction, or, like, at very specific jump angles, shielding the, um, projectiles from, um, the, of jump B from, um, Cop, and it made Cop scared to do jump B, so they were trying to do, like, low angle jump C to avoid the situation, so they didn't, you know, just die. <laughs> And get a full uh, combo start. Hmm. I don't know. I thought that was very impressive on how Skeleton was able to use it at like very specific points to control the pace of the match. Skeleton, Skeleton has some really good use of system mechanics in order to get by, which is what you need with a character like Toma. Uh, shows off. Shows off the the robustness of Melty's system. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how good Cop Shield was there to just maintain the pressure and just keep chasing him down. Yeah. Like, that's such a risky situation to, like, not press a button down there because it's Nero, and Nero has godlike buttons to reach up to the corner screen. There yeah. we go. Oh, double, double shield. Excellent. Very good. Yep. Oh, no. The sadness is felt there. When you get hit by centipede, you just feel so sad. Uh, not quite. Range. Nice. Cop getting the conversion. See? Yeah, good shield from Web. Noticing that Skeleton's trying to go reach down for a button. Going for all the blocks. Yeah, not the jump out you wanted. That yeah. crow is so menacing. Yeah, and this is just like... Especially as a character like Koma, there's so little you can do in that situation. Ah, uh, that was crazy. Eventually, Skeleton finds a good jump out, but then he he's dashed playing underneath. Koma neutral. Yeah, he dashed, he dashed underneath it and yeah. it had the situation, but it was just like, it's kind of too little too late at that point. It's too little too late and you're... You, the thing with this matchup, the, the thing with playing Koma is you don't want to be in neutral. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, not, he's, he's not a character characters. that's good there. He's not a character that's good there and you're up against Zero, who just literally wants to sit there and throw stuff and wait for you to jump in so he can press 5v on you. Get a small combo, put out a deer, and then drive you into the corner because you got a single hit. I was going to say, I, w I was just expecting because of the magic of 5c, you just sit there pressing the 5c button win and win. Uh, you can. 5, 5 C definitely will feel like that at times. That was godlike. But the deer yeah. saved him. Oh uh, my god. Yeah. Armor, armor sucks. Oh my god. The sadness. Oh no, the disaster. The disaster. Yeah, not in range for that throw from shield. Yep, just a barring, keeping Koma in the corner. Yeah. Ah, uh, disaster. I talk about the robustness of uh, the system mechanics, but the real problem is they took out uh, Barra Cancel. Which is the system mechanic that Koma needs to succeed. 
Kara canceling? Uh, Kara canceling from a shield bunker startup. How about that for fun? Uh, that was in uh, three great, versions actually. ago. That'd be amazing yeah. for this character. You slowly you slide forward in block and command for them. I think that might make some characters a bit too strong, though. Uh, 50 meter because you have to do the, the shield counter. But okay, yeah, that, that, it, that is it, cool, it, yeah. it was a big problem with, the, with with that version of the game. Oh my but, god. But uh, Como was good. Yeah, Como so, was good. It was. It was. It was a good time. It was a good time in the alone. <laughs> All right, here okay. we go. This Yellow's first in the corner. He's in the corner. Nope. Yeah. Nice, just kind of moving oh, back. No, oh, Melton goes for one of his crazy air throws that shouldn't work, and it doesn't work, unfortunately for him. And now everything is bad. Oh no, he, he got in. He got Not quite one jump beat that battered. Yeah. Oh, never mind. The disaster has occurred. Have to just sit there and wait. Put the gear. All right, we're back in the corner. Under a lot of pressure. Taking a small combo. Good old Nero. Come was a big guy. He can handle this. All right, fun, fun okay. trivia game. Which of these characters do you think has more HP total? Hmm. From system mechanics. The zoner or the grappler? I would assume the zoner in this situation because it's an art. You're system. right. Uh, it's not, but you're right. It is, in fact, Nero with the uh, third, second highest HP in the game in Crescent Moon. He needs it. He does. It's in the lore. You could tell. I mean, you could tell. I mean, earlier he was eating like 5,000 damage and he was still looking mad healthy, so you know that like, Nero is. He's got the health bar. Koma, Koma does at least damage. That's one thing he has going uh, on. Health bars, health bars work by defense modifier, so he'd just be taking less damage. Like, that combo would have done 4.2 on a character that's not Koma. Mm -hmm. But Nero. Nero also has a lot of defense. Does he have like weird special multipl defense multipliers? No. He just he just has a lot of health good multipliers. He just has good multipliers. Nothing nothing special going on. They're just good. No, I'm no. Oh no. Oh, it's a disaster. There we. All right. All okay, right, he's got this. Turn. Here we go. The game. Run the mix. Actually, something's happening. All right, good heat. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, we're we're back in it. Okay. Oh, the train's happening. You are now in the blender. We are now in yeah. the kick kick coma blender. This is all good. Oh my uh, god. Wait for the 5C says, I know you're just gonna do it. You can't help yourself. It's a Nero player. You of course would. Oh my god, jumpy please. Alright. After a flash of brilliance, now we're back in, is back in the corner. Yes. Oh, it's okay. He fought oh, back. Dash 5A. It's all good. You know what's Unpunishable. great? Unpunishable. Koma really is the underdog in the situation. It's great. Yeah. Right. It's like the befitting of the war. Plus raves. Good bunker. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Avoids oh, a really bad situation by doing that. Great awareness. Yep, yep. Oh, this is gonna be scary. Nice, good attempt to shield against the jump C, but skeleton. Re oh, never mind. Alright, nice. The final heat. Alright, skeleton, no meter, looking not good. It's not good. Oh, no. by the man's arm. He won't die, but it's gonna hurt. That was oh. a super risky dash by Webb. Oh, gets the grab. Here oh, we go. Not quite enough. Oh, is it? Oh. Tries for the air throw. Okay. That air throw almost got him killed. One more heat. Oh, no. Yeah. Ah, the sadness. Reset. That's the reset, I believe. It is the reset. It's a reset. Yes, it is. Let's go.
All right. So, uh, Skeleton just lost 3 0. But it's okay. The first two were washes, and the last one, it looked like he was starting to get back into the swing of things. So I think he's actually looking pretty good heading into the second <laughs> set here. I love how he says, he got 3 0, but actually, it's looking good. Yeah, he got 3 0, but it's okay. He's waking up. <laughs> The I'm whole imagine, point I'm just of being in winners in a, in a hospital bed with like the thumbs up, with a headband <laughs> around him in a full body cast. It's like, yeah, I'm yeah. good, guys. <laughs> the thing is, being in winners gives you that buffer to to mess around. It's true, it does. To maybe even just intentionally downplay a bit to to throw off your opponent if you're that crazy. I mean, you also said this kind of gives him away because like this does feel like. The matchup is very not much not favored for Koma. So like you have to kind of feel out your feel out the opponent's tendencies. So that kind of gives it a little bit of buffer for Koma too. Yeah. All right. They do the stage select in order to reset our in-game match timer. Very nice match counter. Very nice of them. And uh, instantly the record oh. punish the tech. You're oh, down. No. Ooh, wake Ooh. up, Bunker. That clash range. The classic. Hello, damage. Hello. Yeah, five, five C, single please. Single hit, five C. Very tip. Catching that neutral jump from a distance. Nice throw. These mm. small straight hits. Yes. Oh, nice use of that to immediately put yourself into the air and not get hit by the snake. Uh -oh. oh, he reacted. Use counter hit. Anti-air, get down. Pros. 5A with pressure. Nice block. Nice. Oh, ah, great shield that's there. A good conversion. That's unfortunate. But it's okay. Yeah. Just don't heat because it's not worth it. It doesn't if seem he like... If a knockdown, he might. If you get hit by the bird when you heat, you die anyway, and then you it sucks. Yeah. Use Crescent Moon, so sitting, enter, starting around at, at full meter doesn't matter if you're Crescent. It's bad on any other moon. Nice anti-air, 2 2 -A. It's bad on any other moon except Crescent. Feels bad, man. Yeah, Crescent, Crescent definitely is meter management privilege. Because you don't have to worry about it. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, this is a game. No tech. Good option. Throw. <laughs> throw. As oh. frames, and you mashed. How dare you mash against Koma? Yeah, the the five B second hit is uh oh very god. plus when charged. Can we take a you... moment to appreciate five C being the god button that it is? Yeah. I've been taking really a nice. lot of moments in my life. Yo, listen, we all feel sad, but it's okay. Nero deserves it. He's too bad. He needs it. He does. He'd be too bad if he didn't have it. Man, we gotta take a moment to appreciate Skeleton's defenses here. Just waiting for that moment yes. to hit. Very calm. There Waiting. we go. Dash by the <laughs> Go. In. Ooh. He did the delayed grab there. Got hit by the heat anyway. Yep, that's okay. Yeah. Oh. Corner no. distance. Oh, good. That was like a smart option, but Skeleton did the perfect thing to beat it. <laughs> Skeleton really is has the grappler mindset. Yeah. When you have the when you have the grappler mindset, you're just like this. I have like the next galaxy brain play to counterplay your counterplay, and it's at the exact right moment too. Oh no. Um, oh, never mind. The tech punish? Okay. For some reason, I thought that was going to give Koma a combo. We got the arms going. Oh, nice dive kick dive movement. Kick. The brain on this boy. 
Yo, yo, listen, when you're a grappler player, you have the next level reads. Okay, that was actually a godlike tech. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my Toma god. Having, uh, move. Toma has a lot more movement than most grappler characters, like traditional grappler characters. So he does get to do some of these really interesting things, like that dive kick. Yeah. Arm, 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 arm. No throw. Never mind. Uh oh. Try to detect buttons. Doesn't work out well for him. Oh my god. Great counter throw. Oh, misses the tech punish. Oh my god. Good shield god. punish. Don't use shield there. <laughs> that was disastrous. Oh my god. That was so good. That was so smart. Bro, on, uh... Among all the other great things that he has in me, Nero also has a really good throw range. She, I Except would not that suspect. Also has throw, throw range. It's okay, it's okay. So, Bottom five characters. It's fine. Out of his own setup. Bottom five characters. It's fine. You can... Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, oh, the sauce. Oh, that's a conversion off the attack punish. Blade overhead. Nice heat right through the gap in the string. Oh, we're gonna attack. Oh, that was godlike. We're gonna die. We're gonna EX throw again. We're gonna throw you again. Oh, that was godlike. That was godlike. <laughs> I, I told you, he got he got 3 0 in the first set, but it was looking good. Kekakoma ripping off that full body cast in the most anime fashion possible. Yeah. It was. He, he was just being held back by it. Back in the corner. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Sauce. Go for the punish. Misses the tech punish. He's gotten it right in one. Unfortunately. Mm. I can never get, like, tech punishes right. Oh, what a trade. Yup, yeah, wake up throw. Boom, you're in the corner. As the right facing, you use the mantis arm to get out. There's air dodge, throw, oh and here, arm. The armor even saves him against the tier. Great option to use right there. Ooh, nice dash. Oh, nice. Ah, 5A. Yeah, there you go. Hit 5A, jump cancel. Skeleton's movement is very nice. Uh, Weaving in his back dashes and forward dashes so elegantly to just try to avoid Nero's silence. Like, so good. Like, his movement is still on point. Yeah. Toma has a really As I good said, dash that gets hit by the summon. So, characters have varying amount of inactionable frames on their dashes. And like Koma, Koma has a really good one that you're seeing here. Like how fast, how fast these oh, attack fighters are. Oh, never mind. He was too high up for him to finish. <gasps> uh, air back dash. Slap you that was godlike. Now dash throw. The power. Again. Oh no. Not having the right shield option. Plus frames, just bunker it. Oh, he tried to do it again, but there's no invuln on that. Nope. Oh no, the match. He tried to call him out. It did not work. Alright, two three O's in a row. It's okay, guys. We we run our we run our brackets real quick. That was that actually was a very good set. <laughs> Skeleton running it all the way back, huh? Work. He came, he took his casts off and said, okay, guys, Ran I'm ready. <laughs> all the way back. Yeah, he was down. All right, that was sick. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of fun I guess it's true. Watch. He got the true anime power up. All right, yeah, GG's. And uh, again, we will be back tomorrow with Fight of Animals. Uh, feel free to sign up for that. If you're interested, it's going to be on Steam. Uh, most people are accepted. The same thing as this bracket. Um, and uh, Friday, uh, Saturday, we will have Karnov's Revenge. Uh, again, thank you guys for coming up for the first episode. Appreciate you guys for doing the commentary. Appreciate everybody who decided to stick around. Appreciate all the, everybody who helped with the Macharinos. And uh, we will have sign-up links for the next bi-weekly, which will be obviously not next uh, next week, but the one after that.
Um, please expect those by Friday. I will have uh, the links posted up, and uh, we will be <laughs> uh, even better that time. So appreciate everybody uh, for coming yeah. through. Um, I don't know if you guys have any, any last things to say. That was uh, fun. I uh, enjoyed that immensely. That was some good melty. Again, sorry for, for being late. Hey, Hopefully no next time I'll be here on time and I'll get to see the full thing. It's good. Yeah, it was good. Good melty. Good melty. Everybody. I just hope, I hope for me being an uninformed, uninformed individual was not an imp impeded anyone Amen. else's enjoyment. Amen. It happens. Okay. Anyway, one, more, one, one last, one last look at that top eight. So it was a reset and skeleton took the whole thing, but uh, there it is. Your melty blood top eight. And uh, again, uh, also last thing to say is Punch Planet Weekly will be on this stream next week, so it'll be fun. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys once again. Thank you for joining us. Have a good time.